now time for another collection update but this one's a little bit different to usual because instead of adding things to my collection I'm actually going to be removing them and the reason for that is that uh, I was sent recently this Mastertronic catalogue which we're going to take a look at in a minute and you could say this is in addition to the collection although not an actual game this was sent to me by my friends Dave and Anna at the Attic Bug if you don't know what the Attic Bug is, it's an online shop selling loads of retro games, specialising in classic computer games, 8 and 16 bit, but there's plenty of other retro cool stuff on there as well. They do artwork and other, all other kinds of things, systems, everything really, so do check their website out. Thanks to them for this, and I'm going to take a look at it now and we'll see why I'm actually going to remove one of my three outstanding titles from the collection. So here we have the front cover of the catalogue and uh, it's got a grid style face with sunglasses on and the classic Mastertronic logo at the bottom and it says the Mastertronic catalogue at the top and it's a very very fetching shade of pink uh, we'll look at the back next the back's got the opportunity to get your hands on a Magnum high performance joystick and uh, there is the Magnum which looks like a horrible thing uh, didn't see one of those back in the day myself um, and it says they're available soon for only £12.50 uh, on the back also there's some information about discs that are available for the Commodore 64 and 128 and ordering details this is a trade order catalogue I should say it's not a, for the public this was for the shops to actually order their Mastertronic games to put on display as you can see there's the address and phone number of Mastertronic don't try and send them anything or phone them up because they're not there anymore So let's move inside and take a look and as you can see it's basically just an order form for games but it does give quite a nice insight into what games are available at this point in time. Uh, so it's broken up into the different systems so we've got Commodore 64, Commodore 16, Spectrum, MSX, uh, Atari 800, BBC Electron, VIC-20, it's got the mad games in a separate section because they were 2 99 again broken down by system and it's also got a bit more stuff here it's got the Entertainment USA releases this I'm dating this catalogue at probably 1986 based on the games that are in it uh, you can see there some Entertainment USA titles were 199 most of them in fact but there was one Ninja that was actually 299 so that's an interesting revelation I didn't know that I thought they were all 199 So there's a couple of things I found by looking through this. Firstly, here's the Commodore 64 selection. Plenty of familiar names there. Big Mac, City Fighter, Spooks, Kickstart, Action Biker, the usual sort of stuff you'd expect. Most of which I've already reviewed, but there's a few still to come. But there's one at the bottom here, XL. Not sure what that is. Haven't seen that anywhere. Don't think it actually was ever released to be honest. No evidence of the game even existing on Lemon 64 or some of the other Commodore 64 archives. So I'm not adding that to my collection list because I'm having enough trouble finding the few games I've got left to find already. So XL is staying off the list. Maybe it was released for some of the other systems and just not the Commodore 64. Moving on. Another insight. Here we've got the MAD releases and you can see there... There's the full set of the MAD releases that came in the initial packaging, which was the comic book style. Things like Last V8, Golden Talisman, Spellbound. And then there's some of the next selection, like Countdown to Meltdown and Ice Palace. And also some of the later ones like Zub and Flash Gordon, which came in the second sort of wave of MAD packaging. Interesting omission from there is the football game, the five-a-side football game, which from the pictures I've seen of the cover came in the comic book style packaging that you'd associate with the first wave of releases and yet it's not on this list which leads me to wonder whether it was ever released for the Commodore 64 given that I've been searching for it for about 14 months now and never seen a copy um, I'm inclined to drop it off the list but I'm not going to just yet I'm going to stick it out for just a little bit longer and see how things go because maybe a copy will show up so that's not the one I'm re removing from the list. The one I'm going to remove from the list is Ski Writer. Now I always knew this wasn't a game. It is a word processor as it says there. But I'd always assumed it was released at the 199 or 299 price point. And as you can see there, 
it wasn't. It was a £12.95 game on cassette. And since I'm only collecting Mastertronic budget titles, that entitles me to knock that one off the list. So from now on, I'm not searching for Ski Rider anymore. I'm only looking for two games, which are Five Aside Football, which may also not exist, and Pigs in Space, which strangely definitely does exist because I've seen a copy of it, but it doesn't exist on this list either. I think Pigs in Space was actually removed from sale because it was very, very similar to the uh, Konami arcade game Puyan. Uh, but anyway, it's not on the list, but it does definitely exist. I've seen a copy of it on eBay, which I didn't win, um, but it definitely exists, so that will stay on the list until I find it. So there you go, that's the Mastertronic catalogue from 1986. Nice little curiosity, nice little addition to the collection. Forgot to mention there's the classic Mastertronic logo in the bottom right corner as well. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Two. One. Zero.